William Shakespeare once very famously said, what's in a name? But there are some names that stay with you. A name that is totally nostalgic and has stayed with me is Nestle Milkmaid. This cute little can and beauty today is going to help us make these wonderful Black Forest cupcakes. Let's begin. The quintessential Black Forest cake is a combination of several components. The first one, of course, is the rich, decadent and dense chocolate sponge topped with whipped or beaten cream and finally cherries. This is now the first component which is making the dense chocolate sponge for which I'm going to require melted butter which is going to be followed by caster sugar it's basically mixing several ingredients and building them up one after another. Let's add in melted dark chocolate for that rich, decadent feel. For moistness in this sponge, I'm going to add in vegetable oil. Well, butter of course makes it nice and rich, but eventually it also dries the sponge. So oil is very important, followed by vanilla essence, cocoa powder, the cocoa powder in this case is going to accentuate the taste and flavor of chocolate. To take that to yet another level, I'm going to add in powdered coffee and mix all this well. Once all of this mixes well and it's lump free, I'm going to start adding in some dry ingredients. Beginning with refined flour that's sieved and kept ready, followed by baking powder along with baking soda. Let's mix all this well. Once all this comes together, time to add in cold milk and mix this well. Well, this is the time when you actually start feeling that this is a batter. Till now it looked like a cookie dough. Now is the time to break it down further. The batter is mixed and ready. Now is the time to add in the hero. I'm talking about Nestle Milkmaid. Well, this is so beautiful. It's thick, it's dense, it's luscious. I feel it hasn't changed one bit. And I'm so correct. Wonderful. Let's add this straight into the cake batter. Let's mix this well. Of course, we're going to make cupcakes out of this, but you can also make a wonderful, luscious cake. Our batter is done and ready. Let's transfer this into a baking mold and allow this to bake. What I have done is I have greased and dusted the mold. Well, in case you have cupcake liners, by all means use those. The next step is baking, but before this goes in the oven, we tap this twice. This way, all the air bubbles in the batter just kind of settle. The next is baking, like I said, 200 degrees Celsius in a preheated oven for 30 minutes. Ah, looks like the cupcakes are done. Our cupcakes are baked and ready. Allow these to come to room temperature completely. Our cupcakes have cooled down completely. Time to demold these and then make them look like the quintessential Black Forest cupcakes. The first thing that goes on top of these cupcakes is beaten fresh cream. On top of this, I'm going to grate dark chocolate, rich dark chocolate. And last but not the least, as they famously say, cherry on the cake. With this, a luscious looking Black Forest cupcakes are done and ready. And like you would have noticed, this wouldn't have been possible without the magic of Nestle Milkmaid. While I'm trying these sumptuous goodies, you take care. Bye for now.